Imagine being able to earn money online without actually doing the work. Today you're going to learn step by step how using drop surfacing can make that possible. No experience needed and no money required to start. Welcome back. My name is Wayne aka Million Rise, and today I'm going to show you how you can start earning PayPal money using a simple little tactic or a thing I like to call drop servicing. Now, if you're not familiar with drop servicing, it's pretty much the new thing that's going on since everyone's actually starting an online store, whether it's a Shopify store, an e-commerce, or even a blog, people need services. And what drop servicing is, you become the middleman. Now, you probably have heard of something called drop shipping, which is where you're selling e-commerce and you're having to deliver products. But drop servicing is, an example would be, someone needs a Shopify store and they need someone to create it, okay? But they don't know how to find it or they need someone to actually search for them. That's where you come in as the middle person where you can supply that and say, hey, I can make the Shopify store for you. And then you go find someone else to actually make the Shopify store. That's how you guys can actually have someone doing the other work. It's pretty much being the middleman. Well, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that today. Before we get started, guys, if you're new to Million Rise, be sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell because I'm going to be putting out daily videos just like this, showing you guys the latest strategies on how you guys can start making money online. So let's start. So now that you guys kind of know what drop servicing is, I'm going to give you an example today how you can actually make money doing it, okay? So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how you can find a person to actually do the work and how we can actually find a customer that needs that work done, okay? So our goal is to find a customer that is going to pay us more than what it's going to cost us to actually have the service done. That's how you're going to profit, all right? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the example of people needing to maybe possibly create Shopify stores. Now, this is only an example, and there's going to be tons and tons of different ways, you know, services people need, whether it's logos, maybe can completing intros for YouTube, maybe thumbnails, doesn't matter, whatever service they need, I'm gonna show you how to find the customer, but the what, people that are actually going to do the work for us, we're gonna use a site called Fiverr, okay? Fiverr.com, it's a freelancing website, you've probably heard of it, because here, people actually do really good work for a lower price, because they just don't know how to find customers. The only way they actually can find customers is people searching on Fiverr, and believe it or not, a lot of people do not use Fiverr, especially when they need to create things. I'm going to show you how to do that. So just to give you an example, we're going to find people that need Shopify or that's going to actually create Shopify stores for us. And guys, before we get into this whole strategy, be sure to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. it helps us video get out to more people, helps that algorithm on YouTube so more people can start making money online. So if we go and actually search Shopify, we're going to look for people that can actually create a Shopify store because if you watch this till the end, I'm going to show you how we're going to find customers that are begging saying, hey, I need to create a Shopify store. How can I do it? But I'm going to show you how we're going to find the actual freelancer to do the work for you. And the great thing with this is, guys, you don't need any experience. You don't even actually have to know how to create a Shopify store or actually have to do all that technical stuff. And you don't need any money because we're going to find the customer for free. So all we have to do is find the customer that's willing to buy it. So whenever we click Shopify, we're going to be able to scroll down here. Different people will be able to do different services. Obviously, you can see the rankings, how good they are. But let's go here. This person says they'll create a Shopify store or edit Shopify website. Now, guys, I'm not sponsored by Fiverr. I don't even know these. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. I'm just simply showing this strategy. So I'm not really promoting one person or the other. So just keep that in mind. But let's just use this as an example. For this one, they are charging $90. They have over 100 in, they've done over 177. They have eight orders in queue. So they must be doing a great job. You can check the reviews. You can hear, you know, see the reviews. It says totally revamped my Shopify store. Great job, very fast. Understood the scoop of the project. So this guy's getting some really good reviews. You'll see what he's able to do for you. You'll get some examples. You go through here. You know, if you're not familiar with Shopify, you know, I'm just showing you some examples. And if you go down here. You know, they even have a discount right now, which is even great. They got the coronavirus discount, 30% off all packages, depending on when you're watching this video. But that's pretty cool. So you're able to get 30% off. So whenever we go try to find someone that's looking to actually create a Shopify store, if it's going to cost us guys $90. Believe it or not, on average, the price to actually create a Shopify store whenever you get a freelancer is can be up anywhere from $500 to $2,000. If you guys think I'm just making up those prices, we can even go to here and even show you kind of the average. If we go on Google, we type in average cost to create a Shopify store. Obviously, it depends on how advanced it is. 
But you can even see here, the overall cost can be anywhere from 500 if you do it yourself. And then if you have any you know, experts do it for you, it can be up to minimum of $500. So now you can see the amount we can actually charge for people because this guy's willing to do it for $90. If we go to standard, which is a business, 180, he even has a premium package, 275. So with this premium package, they do custom design logo. That means we can actually charge more for the customer that we're finding. So now that you guys kind of got an idea, let's just use this as an example. You know, we need to find someone that's, you know, is willing to pay more than $90 to create a Shopify store. But majority of people understand it's going to be a minimum of 500 bucks if they don't know about Fiverr, if they don't know my strategies, if they're not subscribed to my channel, they don't know about this and they're looking for someone to do it. So now the free site that's going to allow you to actually find customers where it becomes free, where it's not going to go into your costs, it's not going to go into your gross income. We can actually go to a site, guys. A site called Core, dude. If you never checked it out, I've talked about this in my videos down below. Core is an amazing traffic source. It's where people are asking questions and you're able to answer. Obviously, you can ask questions too for yourself if you're interested about something. But we're going to actually answer questions. You can sign up for free, put in your email, get your whole thing set up, make sure you got a profile, have your bio all set up. If you've been following my videos, you probably already have that. But if not, be sure to do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to search for people that are looking to build a Shopify store. Pretty simple. So the way Core works is you can actually type this in as specific as you want. You can see here, I've already typed that in, looking to buy a Shopify store. And we're going to see right here. Now, you're going to see different people asking questions. So here's one. How much does it cost to build a Shopify site? Um, where do I begin looking to build a Shopify site? How do I learn to make a Shopify more responsive? Now, the reason I'm showing all these questions is because we're actually going to answer it and we're going to answer it with value. On Quora, you cannot spam. You don't want to spam because you can't be putting out links. You can put a link in your bio if you create a site, maybe a drop servicing site where you have all the service, you know, whether it's logo design, creating Shopify stores, creating, you know, game overlays. You can do that, but we're going to want to actually answer these questions with value. So let's just go here. How much does it cost to build a Shopify site? You're going to see how many people have answered. We'll go down here. There's been 18 different answers. And the great thing with Core too is all these answers stay on Core for life. So even if this person wasn't interested in actually using your services, maybe someone else did looking for the answer to this question. So if we go right here. The people have already answered Shopify plan. They're going to talk about high level question. They're going to tell you how much it costs. But what you're going to want to do is go here and actually hit this button that says answer okay so you're going to answer and you want to answer this question with value simply talk about shopify stores tell them hey you know the average shopify store can be anywhere from 500 to two thousand dollars you can do a little research too so if you don't know the answer and you really want to get value what i actually do is i go on google okay so i'll actually go here and i'll actually find someone that actually has some value and i'll just take some clip notes um, cliff notes of what they say and just give this person value because core you know I don't quite understand because obviously Google can answer a lot of these questions but I guess because core is more of a community people really love it but I can even go here and you can find a blog like um, obviously this is on core it pops up pricing your web how to hire and just find some information where you're able to actually answer and then at the bottom you can simply say hey I offer a service of you know of actually doing a Shopify site that's extremely cheap Feel free to message me or if you guys even create a YouTube channel or even create an Instagram account. Now this is kind of next high level thinking, but if you create an Instagram account that simply talks, you know, where you say, hey, I build Shopify stores for you, you can direct them to your Instagram account and then have a conversation with them there and then close the deal. But the goal is guys, if it's going to cost us, let's say $90 or anywhere up to 285 for higher level stuff, we're going to want to charge this person a minimum of $400 or $500. So if I get the calculator out, so let's say we sell a site for $500 and it's going to cost us $90, okay, roughly. You're able to profit $410 and guys, you don't even have to do the work. The guy on Fiverr is going to create the Shopify store. He's going to have everything ready for you. You're going to deliver it to your customer and then you're going to collect the payment. The only thing you really have to do is find the customer. And guys, using this site, it's so easy. You go to Core, there's so many people just begging and you know looking for people to actually do stuff. You can even join groups like this, guys, called Shopify. So Core, they have something called Spaces, Products, or you can even go here to the left hand side and you can look up spaces where I'll have money making smart, um, smart business. I'll actually show you, I have a Shopify space 
that you're able to actually use and find more people interested that are you know that are into Shopify trying to figure out how to do it and guys you can charge for different things like on Fiverr it's not only creating um, Shopify stores people are willing to manage your store upload products um, will create a complete professional one they'll fix bugs and errors maybe someone already has a store and they just need to fix some bugs and errors this guy will do it for you know 120 bucks where fixing bugs and errors is very you know painstaking so you can charge you know four or five hundred bucks to do that get this guy to do it charge that this person on a core and then you'll be rocking and rolling you can even do uh, build a Shopify you can ask different questions on core guys so build a Shopify you know mess around with it so you can find new questions so here's like one how do I build a Shopify app how much does it cost to build a Shopify site? You can answer this question, say it's anywhere from 500 to 1,000, or you can say it's 1,000 to 2,000, depending really, and say, hey, I'll be able to do it for you for 500 bucks. They'll message you, maybe they can hit you on Instagram. You can create free Instagram accounts. If you guys don't know how to do that, I actually have, have a playlist down below that shows you how to make money off Instagram. You can learn how to build one, grow it, and then that's really high level stuff because they'll see your Instagram account and you'll seem more legit to them. Um, how do I build a Shopify website for a lower cost? People are just begging to do it. Obviously, you can do this timetable as well, guys. This is a filter. You can do past hour, day, week, month. You can do past year, so you can you know make sure people are more. It's not like a couple, three, four years ago. So you want someone that is into it. You can even do past month. So these people are really looking. So why should I build a Shopify store instead of using the free WooCommerce plugin? You can tell them, hey, you know, it's better because you can get better conversions and stuff like that. If you guys don't know how to answer these questions, go to Google. Um, do a little research, give them value. When you give them value, they're really going to respond. So guys, that is how you can start earning some PayPal money. Obviously you connect, you know, whenever someone pays you for your drop servicing service, you connect to your PayPal or any other service out there, depending on what country you live and start collecting those payments, guys. This is great because you don't actually have to create the, whatever, you know, product they're looking for. You just have to be the middleman and using Core to find it. There's so many different ideas. This is only one example. So imagine, you know, use your creativity, let the juices flow, see what you can do, kind of see what's in demand right now, especially, you know, in this quarantine time, there's some higher demand things that would not normally be. But guys, I hope you like this video. Be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below if you guys are gonna try this method of earning, you know, using drop servicing. Drop servicing is pretty big, guys. Everyone's going online right now. This is 2020 when I made this video. Even brick and mortar stores are going online, so they need services, whether it's logo, designs, editing, video editing, pro editing. You can get you know people on Fiverr, and everyone always asks me, why don't these other companies go to Fiverr? I don't know, they just don't. And believe it or not, they will pay you. They'll pay you max level because they think they need to hire a freelancer. Maybe they think they need to go on Craigslist. Maybe they think they need to hire someone on Indeed that's a professional. Well, everyone on Fiverr, these guys are the professionals. It's just Fiverr does all the marketing for them, so they're just willing to be on here and earn some easy cash. And guys, be sure if you haven't to subscribe to my Million Rise channel down below. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so every time I make a new video just like this showing you the latest ways to make money, it'll be sent out to you. So that's it, guys. I'm going to put up two more videos here that are going to be able to help you. I'm LeVan, a.k.a. Million Rise, guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day.